Royal Rumble, Brock Lesnar and Matt Riddle uh, reportedly had a, a confrontation. I, I mean, it was it sounded more one sided um, before the Rumble. Uh, Riddle um, has been calling out Lesnar for years, saying he's going to retire Lesnar. Uh, so Lesnar reportedly approached Riddle backstage, just said, uh, reportedly, this is what he said according to TalkSport. He said, kid, you might as well stop saying my name and tag me and shit because you and I will never work together, ever. And that was pretty much the end of it. Um, Riddle apparently has backstage heat. He was in the Rumble for less than a minute, got quickly thrown out. So a lot of people saying they think this is a work, think you'd have him look strong if this is a work and you're building to something with Lesnar down the road. But, uh, um, yeah, so uh, Riddle uh, kind of in the doghouse a little bit, even though on NXT he's getting somewhat of a push. He won him and Pete Dunne won the, the uh, Dusty Classic. But, again, he's in the tag team scene. That's not, you know, that's not uh, ever the biggest thing uh, in WWE. I'll tell you, that, you know, respect in pro wrestling is a very real thing. And, and, and you got people, Brock has been there for a long time. Brock is the big dog of WWE. Like as far in, so I'm going to just give you a scenario. If I was down in NXT or FCW and, you know, John Cena was on top. Let's say Stone Cold Steve Austin, because I, I and Steve get along fairly well. Steve, Stone Cold's red hot up in WWE running shit. He's the champ. He, he's the man at, at the peak of his career. And I'm down in developmental. And I start, and social media exists, and I start running. Steve's a little bitch. I can't wait to go up there and retire Stone Cold. That little bitch. <laughs> like, and I just constantly keep doing that. Now, that might generate, see, this is where I think Riddle, if this is what he's doing, it generates buzz online. But the problem is you bury yourself. You think Stone Cold's going to want to work with me? Do, right. I have no way in hell. Or if he is going to work with me, it's going to be, the, it's not going to be anything for me. It, so there's a thing in pro wrestling where you got to know how to conduct yourself in, in a professional manner so that because until you get to those top most guys will never ever get to those top positions and I got to experience it for a year that man it's a whole other level of like and you got because you got to play that game of like not overstepping your bounds but you got to fucking know when to step up and like it's because you're trying to one guy's just deciding everything but those guys that like that are in Brock has the power with Vince. If Brock doesn't want to do anything, he's not going to... If he doesn't want to work with you, you're not working with him. Who's going to tell him otherwise? He has the best contract. He has the only contract where he, he seems to where he has an opinion on things because he's smart. And, and I, I just think you got to be careful. It, everyone wants to get over, but you got to play the game. Like, you got, you're down at... You're on level one still, man. You got to get on level fucking eight or nine before you can even start even kind of remotely... Doing that, but you got a guy. Remember, like Yoshitatsu, on uh, when 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 uh, Tenzai came up there, and they had fake Japanese heat because Jap Tenzai wasn't even Japanese, but right. he was doing the gimmick, and Yoshi started like running his mouth on social media after Tenzai's getting a huge push on TV. What did they do? They just fucking threw him out there and jobbed him out right away. You don't do that. Like it, it's <clears throat> so you got to know as a professional wrestler. Man, like it, it's a fight you'll never win because the this isn't in Riddle. I think it's not UFC. Like you're not gonna. It's not where if there's interest in a fight, Dana White can make that fight because they're, right. they, you guys. This is pro wrestling and political bullshit, and like you got to navigate that shit, man. Yeah. And so again, it could be a complete work, and that could be a way to generate interest down the road in it. But I have a feeling from how Riddle has talked about him, and not just giving you those comparisons. <laughs> I was doing that with Stone Cold Steve Austin. He isn't going to want to work with me. Right. Why would yeah. he? He can make money with a, with 50 other guys ahead of me that right. aren't insulting him personally on social media. So, Yeah, and your point is uh, 100%. With, if, this is, if this is UFC, that's the thing to do is yes. call out the top guys. This isn't, uh, and you could be kept down even further if you're... It doesn't matter, because yeah, it's a whole other world. No. It doesn't matter how good you are, how good you think you are, how much the fans love you. I have experienced it at the highest level. It doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Lesson learned for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he's had uh, spats with Goldberg in the past, an online spat with Chris Jericho. Or but the, bad, where he's like, it's not like you're working in angle. It's like really demeaning to the, it's disrespectful. Yeah. And it's like, it's not fighting at the end of the day, as, right. as far as that goes. So, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you can smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here.
for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.